In this video, we provide the solution to question number four from the practice exam number two for Math 1050. We're given the quadratic equation, 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0, and we need to solve this quadratic equation. Now, fortunately, it's in the standard quadratic form for a quadratic equation. The right-hand side is equal to 0, so we know the coefficients a, b, and c right here. Um, we could use the quadratic formula if that we wanted to. We could try to complete the square. I'm going to see if there's some type of factoring that works here, because if I bring... Uh, the leading coefficient and the constant coefficient together, we get 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. I need factors of 6 that add up to be 5, which admittedly, uh, the answer is already there. Just take 3 and 2, like so. Um, so then we can proceed to factor this thing, 3x squared. 3x squared plus 3x, we'll put in the first group. Uh, for the second one, we'll have a 2x plus a 2 in the second group there. Uh, so from the first group, we can pull out a 3x. That leaves behind x plus 1. From the second group, we can pull out a 2, which leaves behind x plus 1. And so then finishing our factoring process, we get 3x plus 2. And then we get x plus 1 is equal to 0. Using the zero product property, we set each and every one of these factors equal to 0. If you set the first factor, 3x plus 2 equal to 0, you would end up with a negative 2 thirds. Just solve the linear equation. For the second one, if we set x plus 1 equal to 0, we end up with a negative 1. So therefore, we found our two solutions, negative 2 thirds and negative 1. And so we see that the correct answer is E. Had we completed the square or used the quadratic formula, our calculation would have looked a little bit different. But when we were done, we would have still had these same two solutions, negative 2 thirds and negative 1.